when I was in Gypsy, I had heard that they were having auditions for future Glinda's. And so I had asked my agent, like, oh, can I get in there? And he was like, Mm-mm, they won't see you. And I was like, why? He's like, they won't see you. They said, Dainty June is not Glinda. And I said, will you please tell them that uh, Dainty June will not be playing Glinda? That uh, <laughs> Kate, who plays Dainty June, will be, would be playing? Anyway, but I was just like, okay, listen, you may be right. You know, you're probably right. You're the, you guys probably know what you're talking about, but just let me try. I was like, give me a chance. I don't even know if I can do it, but I just want to try. So I like found out all the people that I knew, who knew what, who knew. And I think it was actually, I think I got in because one of the guys in Gypsy, his girlfriend um, worked at Bernie Telsey. And she was like, I can get you on the list of the pre, 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 pre screens. So then my agent called me and he was like, well, I have your audition. And he was kind of mad about it. And I was like, why are you mad? I'm going to just audition and we're going to see what happens. So, of course, I went in for like the assistant, assistant, assistant. They were like, can you wait for the assistant, assistant in an hour? I'm like, mm-hmm. Then they were like, can you wait for the assistant in an hour? I was like, mm-hmm. Then they're like, can you wait for the afternoon when Joe Mant- Mantello and all the, like, the, everybody comes in? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And also keep in mind, I'd never seen Wicked. I'd never seen Kristen Chenoweth. All I knew is that everybody kept telling me my whole life that I was like her. And all I wanted was the chance to try, right? So then after that whole like audition thing, then they called and they were just like, okay, great. We're going to keep her in mind for future, da, 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 da. And I was like, great. You know what? Maybe that's all it's going to be. I'm just glad I got to try. I'm glad I, you know, I did what I could. And then when I was in Good Vibrations, they called and said, would she be interested in opening a Chicago company? So, so cool. Not to go for an answer, people. There's always a back door or back door behind that, the door. There's like back doors within doors. So I auditioned for this pilot. I... They put me on tape, like in New York, a lot of the times they put you on tape and then just like send it. So then I came in for another pilot and the, one of the assistants who who is a casting director now, Steven Tyler O'Connor, who is so awesome, but he back then was, you know, just an assistant. He was just young and starting out. And he was like, what did they ever tell you about that one audition? Cause I, I edit the tapes before we send them. And you were so funny in that one audition. And I was like, Nothing. They never said anything about that audition. I I don't even know if they saw it. So then I called my agent and I was like, did you ever get any feedback? And they're like, no, nobody gets feedback. I said, well, can you just check? And they're like, it's this other agent who's covering it, but hold on. And then they were like, okay, we found out they didn't watch your tape. So now they did watch your tape, but that part's gone. But so now they want you to come and audition for this other part. So I was like, okay, great. So I auditioned for the other part. And then they were like, okay, they want to test you for this other part. Even though I was like, I'm not right for this other part. I was right for that first part, but I'll come in for this other part. So they flew me to LA and I tested for the other part, which I did not get. So then I had another audition while I was in LA and it was for the Sherry Shepard show. And then I ended up getting it. But like that I totally got too, because I was live in the room. Well, I just want to point out that if you hadn't gone to your agent and not only did you, did they say like, no, no, if you well, like so had said that to me, I probably wouldn't have said anything. And your approach, and this is what I mean by persistence and humility that I think is so beautiful is you didn't say to your agent, I heard the casting director told me this, right? You just said, Hey, would you mind just looking into it? It was such a, that's such a beautiful way to approach your agent so that you're respecting their relationship with the casting person and your relationship with your agent. And, and also kind of like being like, Hey dude, like do your job a little bit, like help me out here. <laughs> like-